Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we're here to do your daily vibes for whenever. Could be right now, could be tomorrow, could be whenever. Let's just see what comes up. We're just going to get right to it. Let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. Been wanting to say that. Let's get to it. I don't know why. Let's get to it. Ooh, two of wands. So the two of wands, this is making a decision. You're at that crossroads. Do you do you go or do you not go? What are you going to do? Do you want to go or not? That is the question. That is the question. Should I go or should I not go? What's it going to be? Six of wands reversed. So let's get some more. Ten of cups. Four of Swords. We could have somebody here that is tired. Really tired, exhausted. Maybe focusing on the family. May need to focus on the family. Here, there's uh, really no movement of some sort. Hmm. What should I do here? Oh, hmm. Holding on to something. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. So, stable, stability, holding on to something, right? Holding on to some, so holding on to money. Maybe I should stay because I don't want to spend any of my money. Um, hmm. Just waiting. Waiting for this person to make a move. This Yesterday, this person was down here, right? This was the hero, but now this hero isn't making any moves. What? Does this person not have any confidence? Somebody doesn't have any confidence. It's like, I want to, but I'm not sure. So we, we, we could have somebody here that it, 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 obviously thinking about do, doing something, but not making any moves. <laughs> you know, they could be tired. They could be exhausted. Maybe they just want to relax, whatever. This person has a lot to offer. I mean, this is the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, she has, she knows her value. She knows her worth. That's for damn sure. This person is holding on, not budging, maybe very stubborn. We have somebody here that is stubborn. If this person is waiting for her to, uh, no, mm-mm. She's very valuable. She knows her value. So we could have, for example, this was what just came to me. We could have a masculine and a feminine. And if you are in a same-sex relationship, you, you same deal. There is a masculine and a feminine in every relationship. Okay? So what I see is we have a masculine and a feminine here. And it's like we have this masculine who's definitely thinking. Definitely thinking about... Uh, doing something, but he's not. He's not opening up. She's waiting because she knows her value. She's waiting. Mm, good news. An invite. She's waiting for an... Somebody's waiting for an invite. You listening? Somebody is waiting for an invite. They're waiting for the message. So, this is a message coming in. So, there could be a message. Somebody could be sending out an invite. This person is thinking about it. They want to. They've definitely, I knew that they wanted to. They definitely want to, but they may have, they may lack confidence. This is a lack of confidence. The Six of Wands reversed. It is because this person knows her value. She really knows her value. I'm a queen and I know it. Okay, but it's not in a bad way. It's really not. This is good news. Somebody may be bursting into your world as well. Somebody that is very well suited for you. There could be a little bit of an age difference. <clears throat> I was going to say probably about maybe maybe four years and, and that just clarified it. So I don't know if there's a four year age difference or even more. I don't know doesn't have to be but we have somebody here that is definitely thinking definitely think and 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 like they could be missing an opportunity 
are losing an opportunity because they're focused on something else. They're just not uh, seeing that they have an opportunity. It's like you have an opportunity, but this person lacks confidence. So what is this person going to do that is thinking, what should I do? What should I invite? Should I send a message? What should I do? I mean, will, will they even give me a chance? This is a fresh new start. Take a risk. Take a risk. So I feel like we have somebody here that is, is, is wondering if they should take this risk. This is an opportunity for a new beginning. This is a new beginning, but you're going to have to take a risk. You're going to have to step into unknown territory and face your fears. So we have somebody here that is fearful of opening up. Because they lack confidence, they have to replace that fear with faith and step into the unknown. Because there's an opportunity for a new beginning here, but they will have to express themselves. I think that some, there's a good chance that somebody is going to receive a message from somebody if this person can, can stop uh, being so closed off and find their confidence to communicate um, ooh, there's definitely a desire here. We have the devil. We have the, we have a desire, a strong desire. There could be some sort of attraction, some sort of, uh, well, this is lust. There should, could be, somebody may have some desires, you know, that they, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what I see. Okay. But it's like, they're, I think they're afraid that they will be rejected. By the looks of things. Ooh, they are afraid that they will be rejected. They may feel like uh, they're not good enough. Temperance reversed. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, you do need to be careful. Is this the right option? Is this the right option? Don't want to get myself mixed up in this. Is this the right connection? They may be fearful that the person that they are attracted to is unbalanced or something like that. Um, seven of Cups upright. This is confused. It's like they, they, they want to make sure they're making the right choice. We have somebody here that is thinking about extending an offer or an invitation. They really want to. They have this sort of attraction with this person. It's clear. Okay. It is clear. But it's like, is this going to work? Can we, can we, are we a mix? Are we, are, are we a match? Fearful of false beginnings. It's like, damn, damn. So seven of cups. This is, uh, it is. It's like, be careful. Once I get started with this. You know, once you get started with this, you get started with this. And I think that's what the worry is. I think somebody here is worried about getting themselves mixed up with the wrong person. But they have this strong desire to do so. It's like, I really want to. It's like they have this pull, this attract, this magnetic pull. It's like pulling them to do it. It's just do it. Just send that message. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Now that is a loss. We have somebody here that also could be frustrated over a loss. And they're thinking about who they want to choose. So there's a choice here. This is a choice and this is a choice. Somebody is thinking. It's like they have a couple different options here. Who is the best match for uh, my family? That kind of thing. We have a, this person is stubborn, very, very stubborn, doesn't like to let go, wants to hold on. This is freedom. There's an opportunity for freedom here to be free, to leave everything behind and start over from scratch, to start a new life. But we have somebody here that is really thinking about it and there. It's like they're not, 
they, it's how they're having a hard time making a decision. So somebody's in the process of making a decision as to, you know, who they want to give to or who they want to invest in. We got somebody here that is, is definitely in a, some sort of state of confusion. They may even get upset. They may be upset. They may be frustrated. Um, we could be dealing with a Capricorn. We could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have somebody here that is definitely exhausted, mentally exhausted. They may be feeling empty inside. They may be feeling lost inside because they don't know what to do. This is a tough decision, put it that way. We have this Queen of Pentacles right here. She is solid. She's stable. She's secure. She has everything she needs to survive. She's very self-sufficient. She um, is motherly. She's loyal. The dog, see that's loyalty. She's grounded. She's real. Um, it, it appears that she has what it takes to succeed. She's she's very successful. Okay. So we have somebody here that is see, appears to be very successful. They have a lot to offer. They're hard to beat. She is hard to beat. Because she does it all. She does it all. She's a, she's like mother earth, okay? She's a mother. She mothers everything. She's she she uh can grow anything nature. She's very natural. She's a natural. She is a natural. Anyway, we have somebody. This is a loss, though. Could have some, I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, Jesus. Five of Cups. This is grieving. Sadness. <clears throat> well, this is grieving and sadness. So it's like some somebody is is sad and upset, sad and upset when there's still an opportunity. There's still an opportunity to work together. There's still an opportunity, but they're not realizing it. Somebody is not realizing that there's an opportunity to work together with somebody. We have somebody here that is very confused and upset, and they know they have to make a very difficult choice. There will be consequences. Either way, because this is a card of consequences. So we have somebody here who is kind of in a state of confusion or despair even. Feeling really, really um, mentally exhausted. Maybe even alone because they have to make a difficult decision. This is a difficult decision. It is. There is some sort of loss. And it could be a loss of power because the devil is power. You know, l losing power, losing control. Somebody may be losing control. Could have something to do with a, a child. Um, this is grieving over a loss. No closure. Unfinished business. It's not over yet. Something isn't over yet. It does have to do with the children for somebody. For some of you, it has to do with children. Um, somebody is clinging to the memories. They may be clinging to a person because of the children. You know what I mean? Unable to let go of a person because of the children. Something like that. Or because of the memories. doesn't have to be children. Because of the memories, the good memories, whatever. It's like they're just unable to close this. They don't want to close this chapter. But this is a new beginning. This is leaving it all behind and starting from scratch. So this is giving up the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is not going to put in effort or they didn't put in effort into a relationship. They didn't put in effort. They didn't do what they were said they were going to do. They didn't put in the work. And now there is some sort of loss. There is a loss with the Ace of Pentacles reversed and the Five of Cups. And it's like there's, there's no success. 
something did not become successful. I know this reading changed drastically, but we have thousands and thousands of people that watch this. So take what's yours and leave the rest. This is a lack of closure. Somebody is in making a choice, a decision about who they who they should choose, what, what avenue they should go down. We have somebody here that keeps going back and forth. What should I do? Um, it is a time of change. It's a time of making of definitely a, a choice between two people. Um, it's like there's a higher power involved here. This is like a, a geometric power, right? This is what this is. It's like it's it's above you. It's a it's it's out of your control, even though it's kind of in your control. It's like the universe is causing some sort of change that you have to decide what you're going to do. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So anyway, I feel as though we have somebody here that is grieving over the fact that they have to make a difficult choice and they're probably feeling very alone, sad, um, mentally exhausted. I just have, that's what I see. But I also see we have somebody here that is stable, solid, secure, and, and has what it takes to succeed. This person has everything it takes to succeed. So we could have somebody here that is is, is not happy about that. Um, this is good news. The Page of Wands is good news. So good news is arriving. What is this good news? What is this good news? i got to end this in a minute because i got a private reading to do. Uh, in like at four, whatever time. Any time now. Oops. Here it is. What is this good news? An offer. Somebody's going to receive an offer. And, and, it's a, and it's a solid offer. It's a stable offer. Somebody is going to uh, give a gift, perhaps. They may come with a gift, or they may just come with... Uh, they may decide to be practical. They may decide the, to take the practical approach. What are they going to give? They're going to... They're going to make the right decision the decision is going to be the they are they're going to do the right thing but oh the page of pentacles reversed now that's the opposite okay that is uh not doing the right thing this is somebody that lost their focus that definitely lost their focus somebody that lost their focus somebody that made some poor choices somebody that bit off more than they can chew they may feel guilty they may feel guilty okay for making the choices that they made they may they may feel guilty about it and uh it's like now it's like now i think they're gonna do the right thing this for some of you has to do with a child Nine of Cups reversed. Very dissatisfied. We have somebody here that is dissatisfied over the choices that they have made. But things are going to get better with the Nine of Cups, even if it's reversed. If you are single, you're going to be meeting a real, a real partner soon. Very soon. Nine of Cups in Reverse is actually really, really good. There is a deep soul connection that is coming. Anyway, somebody is going to receive a message, an invite or an offer from somebody that is going to make them happy. It is. It's from somebody that was holding back. Somebody that was stubbornly holding on to something. It's, it's almost like this person comes to their senses and I don't know who this reading is for this could also go another route because I feel like there's a new uh, partner here like a new this is a new beginning as well this could be a new sexual partner this is exciting this is the match this is this is the match okay so we have an exciting new beginning on the horizon but we do have somebody that 
needs to open up, face their fears, and express themselves. So I think somebody is. I do feel like there is somebody that is. They're about ready to open up. They're ready to leave the past behind. They're ready to start over. So anyway, somebody's going to receive good news. They could even get invited. I mean, this could go so many different ways because people are in so many different scenarios. Somebody's going to receive an offer or an invitation from somebody. And it's going to lead them down a new path. And this could be... It could start out, if it's sexual, this is a deep sexual attraction. If this is family oriented, it could be uh, children coming back. Let's get one card. I got like, I think I, I, think I got like a couple more minutes. I think. Oh, one more card, one more card. There's going to be some good news that is arriving. Something really good that you don't expect. Somebody's going to receive a message <laughs> that excites them. Put it that way. It's almost like somebody gets this vision. I got, this is what I got to do. That's my answer. You ready? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's the best card in the deck. It is. There is no better card than this as far as I'm concerned. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So this is about love. Somebody is going to receive a message from somebody. And it's going to make them happy. I just know that it is. Good luck. Good luck. 